Hello and welcome to e lecture of introduction to IT system. In previous lecture, we already have discussed the two types of operating system. The first one is the batch operating system and the other one is the time saving operating system. In this video lecture, we will discuss other three remaining type, types of operating system. First, we will discuss the distributed operating system. After that, we will go to embedded operating system and finally we will try to understand the real time operating system. So, we will take one by one. The batch operating system we already have discussed in previous lecture, the advantages and disadvantages of batch operating system were also discussed in last lecture. Time sharing operating system, its advantages and disadvantages also have discussed in last video lecture. Now we will try to understand what is the distributed operating system. In distributed operating system we have various systems and all these systems have their own CPU, main memory, secondary memory and other resources. These systems are connected to each other using a shared communication network. Here each system can perform its individual task individually. The best part about this distributed operating system is the remote access. That is, one user can access the data of other system and can work accordingly. So the remote access is possible in this distributed operating system. And this image shows the working of a distributed operating system. There are some advantages and disadvantages of distributed operating system. The very first advantage of distributed operating system is that since the systems are connected with each other, so the failure of the system, one system cannot stop the execution of the process because other system can do the execution. So if the one system will fail, then other, another system will take care of that process and that process will be executed by the another system. So the system breakdown, one system breakdown will not affect the whole system execution or whole process execution. Another advantage is that resources are shared between the each other. So the cost of the overall cost of the system will be reduced in case of the distributed operating system and finally the load on the host computer gets distributed and this in turn increase the efficiency. Some disadvantages all, uh, are also associated with the distributed operating system since the data is shared among all the computers so to make the data secure and accessible to the few computers we need to put some extra cards, some extra securities we have to imply in the distributed operating system to secure our data and files. If there is a problem in the communication network, then the whole communication will be broken. We have, the, uh, there is some advantages that we all already discussed that suppose some, some system, see here we have discussed the system cannot stop execution of the process because other system can do the execution. Here let's, let's assume this system fails or breakdowns. So the process will not affect adversely because that process will be taken care by other systems. But the disadvantage is that if the communication network will break down then the whole system will be break down and our process will not be able to execute it. So this is the disadvantages of the distributed operating system. The next one is the embedded operating system. An embedded operating system is designed to perform a specific task for a particular device which is not a computer. For example, the software used in elevator is dedicated to working of elevator only and nothing else. So this can be an example of embedded operating system. The embedded operating systems allows access of device hardware 
to the software that is running on the top of the operating system. The advantages of embedded operating system is that since it is dedicated to a particular job, so obvious it will be fast. Its low, its cost will be low, and these consumes less memory and other resources because their task is very very specific. The disadvantages associated with embedded operating system is that only one job can be performed, and it is difficult to upgrade. in nearly scalable finally the real time operating system the real time operating system used in a situation where we are dealing with some real time data execution of these processes with no delay so if if there will be delay so um, Uh, in in that case in that case we will not use real time operating system so real time operating system will be used only if we need no delay or no buffer delays so the real time operating systems are used in situations where we are dealing with the, some real time data so as soon as the data comes the execution of the process should be done and there should be no delay that is no buffer delay should be there real time operating system is a time saving system that is based on the concept of the clock interrupt so whenever you want to process a large number of the request in a very short period of time then you should use real time operating system for example the detail of the temperature of a petroleum industry are very crucial and this should be done in a real time and in a very short period of time a small delay can result in a life death situation so the time is very important in the case of the real time operating system there are two types of real time operating system the first one is the hard real time and second one is the soft real time in hard real time in this type of the operating system a small delay can lead to a drastic changes so when the time constant is very important then we use the hard real time system in hard real time system the processes will must executed within the time frame so the delay is not allowed in hard real time systems in soft real time systems here the time constant is not that important yes the time constant is important but not as compared to the hard real time systems but here also we are dealing with the some real time data the advantages of the real time operating system is that there is maximum utilization of devices and resources and these systems are almost error free the disadvantages of the real time operating systems are the algorithms used in real time operating system is very complex specific devices drivers are used for responding the interrupts as soon as possible so this is the real time operating system these are some advantages and disadvantages of real time system so in this video lecture we have discussed distributed operating systems its advantages and disadvantages embedded operating system and real time operating system thank you thank you so much